great to have you with me. On Sunday, we spoke about God being with us, and we emphasized His presence. In Matthew 1 verse 23, we read that about the birth of Jesus, and His name will be Emmanuel, which means, very simply, God with us. Now, on Sunday, we emphasized God's presence going in front, with and behind, and He's following after us. And He's in every situation that God's presence, Emmanuel, is with us. And so often we wonder ourselves in various situations, but where is God? And so often I've heard, how can a God of love allow this or that to happen? I want to encourage you to meditate on this passage of Scripture from Jeremiah 23, verses 23 and 24, where Jeremiah is insisting and speaking to Israel that's full of rebelliousness and couldn't care less about whether God is there or not. And Jeremiah is talking on behalf of God, and God says, Am I only a God nearby? In other words, am I a God that's just near you? declares the Lord, and not a God far away? Not a God far away? And then who can hide in secret places so that I, this is God, so that I cannot see them, declares the Lord. Twice, declares the Lord, declares the Lord. And then he goes on to say, do I not fill heaven and earth? Third time declares the Lord. So God is making a declaration here. He's saying, I am everywhere. I'm nearby, I'm far away, but you can't hide from me because I am with you and all over you. I fill the heavens and I fill the whole earth. Now, I think it's time to seriously meditate upon this, that God's presence is with you. You might not think about it, you might not feel about it, but the time comes that you are going to be tested and that's where your faith has to kick in and believe, profess or confess, God, you are with me. There's an interesting passage of scripture in Isaiah chapter 8 where Isaiah is telling the people and prophesying how God is going to rise up against the king of Assyria with all his pomp and glory and ignoring God. And as I says, it's like the Euphrates water that's going to rise up and swamp out this king. And now in Isaiah 8 verse 8 in the New King James Version, listen to what he says. Now bearing in mind that Isaiah is saying, God is like this mighty river that's going to sweep away all the opposition. Isaiah 8 verse 8 says, He will pass through Judah. He will overflow and pass over. He will reach up to the neck, all referring to the metaphor of the Euphrates River. And stretching out of his wings will fill the breath of your land. O Emmanuel, Emmanuel, God with us. Your presence will fill the breadth of South Africa or wherever you're living in. God's presence is there. Like I said earlier on in Jeremiah, he says, I fill the heaven and the earth. That's Emmanuel. And in Matthew 1 verse 23, Jesus is Emmanuel. Now later on in the book of Gospel of John, Jesus is telling his disciples, I'm going to actually leave you. Now, this creates a problem. How can Emmanuel, who's been with us, all the Old Testament has prophesied this, it's fulfilled in Jesus, how can he leave them? And in John 16, in verse 7, in the NOE translation, Jesus says, But verily, truly, but very truly, I tell you, it is for your good that I'm going away. The physical presence of Jesus is going to be gone. And I'm going away. Unless I go away, the advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. 
Now, we've known other passages that this is the Holy Spirit that's coming, and he's referred to as the advocate, the parakletos in Greek, which is the comforter. Now, not only with you, but in you, but in you. And so I, I, I'm so encouraged, and I trust that you encourage encouraged when you face all these situations in life. Emmanuel, the Holy Spirit, is in you. Other words used or relating to the Holy Spirit, the parakletos, is the counselor. God himself will counsel you because he's in you. He will help you because he's in you. Great is he that's in you than he that's in this world. He's your advocate. He's your intercessor. Even though Jesus himself is physically not with us anymore, his spirit is Emmanuel in us, but Jesus himself is interceding on your behalf and my behalf in heaven. And he's the one that strengthens us, and he's always on standby. God is with us in whatever form he wants to present himself. He is Emmanuel. Can you meditate on that one simple singular word, Emmanuel, God with you, God with me? Let's pray about this. Father, thank you that Emmanuel will become a reality in our lives. And like Jeremiah says, God declares us, I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm nearby, I'm not far off. And even if you're hiding in a secret place, I know you there. And I fill this heaven and the earth with my presence. Thank you. Even when we can't feel it, even when we don't see it, we confess it. You are with us. Thank you for that encouragement, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Speak to you again on Sunday. Have a great week. God bless you.